we produced a campaign for Samantha Dixon Brain Tumor Trust that was press-based, it, um, it was in cabs, uh, it was in the national and local press, uh, there were posters, uh, we handed out leaflets, we had pedicabs going around with a big six-sheet poster on the back. And all around this particular one day, the 6th of March, which is the launch of the national guidelines uh, to four GPs, and it was actually at the, House of, at the House of Commons. And in the House of Commons, there were 100 people invited, including MPs and professors, to talk about the uh, diagnosis of brain tumours. There were key symptoms to look out for, and that's what we dramatised in the advertising. Uh, the, one of the main um, ads that we produced, for, which, which appeared in national press, uh, was a brain, in term, but made out of coins. And it says, we need more funds to help research brain cancer. Now, all of the 10 P's make up the brain. Uh, it's a very simple, clean, elegant visual um, that was um, photographed uh, from a model that had been made. But a single penny had been put in to represent the cancer, the tumour. And it says, each year in the UK, 6,500 adults are diagnosed with a brain tumour another 13,000 with secondary brain cancer. And it goes on to say that, they, that Samantha Dixon Brain Tumor Trust has been going for over 10 years and do more research and treatment than any other charity into brain cancer. But they need money. Uh, and they also need money for research. Um, and then another ad that we um, produced was showing one of the symptoms. We did a series of ads which, which highlighted various symptoms. But this one was that brain cancer makes things hard to swallow. And in the actual brain shape again, we concentrate on the brain of the, of the sandwich. Um, we put drawing pins in, into the jam. Um, the other thing that's hard to swallow basically is the lack of funding, which is what the subline uh, went on to say. Difficult to swallowing is a side effect of brain cancer. Lack of money for research sticks in the throat too. So the advertising that, uh, uh, that we did all highlighted symptoms of the tumours themselves and then we um, produced uh, the little uh, booklet which was handed out to, to people uh, on the streets and also went in, uh, in magazines, in healthcare magazines and there are also um, uh, leaflets in doctor surgeries which says um, uh, many people with brain cancer suffer from blackouts and inside um, we had uh, details. It says, we'd like to shed some light on brain cancer. Uh, we actually showed a black light bulb, just as an interesting visual. And also the black light bulb was used as a physical um, piece to send out to, to uh, journalists. We had a PR campaign running from the start, six, literally six months before the 6th of March, uh, we started the campaign in, in motion. And three months before the launch date, every two weeks a postcard went out to key journalists. Um, and there was, I think, an initial 250 journalists who were contacted in, in the healthcare uh, or the health um, editors of the magazines uh, and radio stations and TV um, stations. And they were sent out postcards w with a symptom on each, um, all dramatised with creative. Uh, and then on the last, uh, two weeks before the big launch, they were sent out a black light bulb in a box, literally sprayed up by a model maker. And so 50 of these went out to, to the key journalists who'd been in, become engaged with the campaign. The campaign itself not only um, was successful in terms of the government adopting the guidelines and issuing them for GPs, uh, in terms of the charity itself, they got £2.1 million worth of coverage uh, on TV because uh, they, there were th two three-minute reports on ITV and on Channel 4 uh, with uh, Neil and Angela Dixon talking about the charity and what the charity does and also the professor who was involved in the research, he was on there talking about the research and, and, and what it means um, uh, to, to diagnosis. Um, we, they received nearly £100,000 worth of donations uh, off the back of the campaign because there were lots of uh, coupons and there's telephone numbers to call and you could go online to donate as well. You could also donate on your mobile. We, we, so we did mobile advertising. We also did um, redesign their website. Um, and the second stage of the campaign was to have uh, celebrities involved. Um, they had celebrity patrons. Uh, they had people like Johnny Wilkinson and Dawn French. Uh, they had Earl Spencer and Fiona Fullerton. And we photographed. There's a, um, a photographer that we used called Jonathan Knowles, and uh, uh, he's a phenomenal photographer. And he went to each of their um, houses or locations and photographed them 
uh, and they appeared in some of the advertising just to put their their support behind the campaign. It was they they are patrons of the charity, um, and they supported the campaign and just to give that them that awareness. Again, it's a small charity that wasn't necessarily heard of, but now it's it's it is the number one charity for uh, brain cancer research, uh, and um, they're planning another campaign this year.